Well, that's what we're thinking our T10 to this morning. And uh, joining us from our Abuja studios is Senator Magnus Abe, a member of the APC. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining us this morning on Sunrise Daily. Now, uh, th this latest list on the, the mode of the primaries for different states, does that effectively uh, put to rest that debate on whether or not to adopt the indirect for other officers, or should I say other elective officers uh, for the APC, except that of the president, which was, uh, the, uh, which was, the, other, was the opposite. Does that put to rest those issues as we speak? Um, no, it does not. There are states where the decisions are in tandem with local realities on the ground. But there are also some states, like River State, where the decision to adopt indirect primaries by the National Working Committee of the party uh, goes against the grains of uh, the realities on the ground. And it's bound to create a lot of uh, disaffection and disharmony within the party. And I believe that uh, the list will have to be reviewed in the light of uh, the realities on ground. Because a, a lot example, of people... in River State, if you said this, if you said the State Executive Committee of the party uh, resolved to adopt indirect primaries, and that's why you're granting indirect primaries, the question now becomes which State Executive Committee of the party? We all know that there is a court order dated the 30th of May that voids the Congresses that elected the current uh, 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 parading executive of uh, Ojukai and Co. And that order said the status quo antebellum, which was the old executive that was in place, should remain. So if the executive that has been voided by the courts calls a state executive meeting, and the executive that the court had asked to stay calls a state executive meeting, and that of uh, the Ojukai faction goes to ask for indirect primaries, and then the real executive of the party is asking for direct primaries, on which basis is the National Working Committee now basing its decision to adopt uh, indirect primaries in River State? When the executive that purportedly wrote to you to say they have agreed to indirect primaries are themselves under legal sanction. It's not a, a doable uh, a thing. Oh, Secondly, what? if you look at the, the, the events that have led up to this, you will find that all across this country, Nigerians are clamoring for real democracy. People want to have an opportunity to actually have a say in what happens around them. And um, that determination by the common people to be able to also add their own voice to the governance of this country is at the heart of the drive for direct primaries. And I have said severally, and I want to repeat it here, that whether we like it or not, the old days and the old ways are going, and they will go. There is nothing we can do about it, because we promised the people of this country change. And the people have bought into that idea that things ought to change, and they are changing it, whether we like it or not. So I don't see how um, a notice from that uh, executive that has been voided by the courts will constitute the basis for which the National Working Committee will take its decision. And I don't see how that would stand in the light of the fact that we don't even know which delegates are going to be used uh, when you talk about these indirect primaries. Because if it is these particular delegates that have been voided by an order of court, they remain void. And so anything you do on top of that is bound to create endless and needless litigation. These cases are in court. They are in the Port Harcourt High Court. They are in the Court of Appeal. They are in the Supreme Court. They are now also going to file another case in the High Court in Abuja. So in the midst of all this, which particular delegates are we now talking about in River State? I don't think that's a decision that is reasonable. And I think that the National Working Committee will have to review it. Because uh, if we have to look at this uh, on a much broader terms beyond River State, where you come from, uh, a lot of people will say that why didn't the NWC of your party, the APC, come up with one mode instead of having double modes for different states? Understandably, when this uh, first came up, they said that uh, some states were for it and some other states were against it. So for you now, 
Is it wrong that the NWC was able to come up with this list for different states? The states haven't consulted themselves. Well, I lost you a bit there. Yes, I'm just saying that... I lost you a bit. Yes, uh, let, let me rephrase the question, because from the onset, when this uh, 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 mode to be chosen was, came, out, came up, uh, some states decided that uh, perhaps an indirect uh, mode will be better for them, while others said a direct mode will be better for them. But the NWC of your party, the APC, has now come out with this list. Was it wrong for the NWC to have come out with the list after the states have, uh, uh, neg uh, have consulted amongst themselves and come up with what best suits them in selecting uh, their leaders for the primaries? Well, I think, uh, I wouldn't say it was right or wrong, but the truth of the matter is that the position of the party is that there should be direct primaries. But 